Common groups A feature you'll find useful when your calculator has many conditions, many questions to answer, or a product that has many parts you can customize. Creating element groups in your calculator cannot get any easier. The only thing you need to remember is that you control the elements in your group through your calculator settings and the rest in your element settings. So first, let's add element group to your calculator. Then, if you want to add other elements into your group, you do that by opening calculator settings here and simply dragging it inside the group. And it works the same way if you decide the element is not necessary for the group, drag it out and let it go. Once we're done with grouping, we can close the calculator settings and open the element settings by pressing on the elements in the calculator. Here we can set how our element group will act in the calculator. So you can add additional information to explain what this group questions are about in the element tooltip. You can as well make the group collapsible by enabling the button here and separately you can make it collapsible by default which means when the calculator loads, this specific group will be collapsed to save space. If we enable advanced settings such as conditional visibility, it will be applied to all elements that are inside the group. What's also worth mentioning is that your formula element can also be added into element group, that way enabling you to separate the calculator into two different sides or parts, so it's perfect for comparison calculations. But keep in mind that element groups do not carry any numeric value, therefore you cannot add the whole group into your formula or calculations. To make it easier to remember, your numeric elements are marked in hashtags with a number and the elements you cannot add to the formula are marked in stars. Now we can move to design. The size of the elements in the element group can be adjusted altogether by dragging the corner of the group. Then, if you need, you can also adjust each of the elements separately, change their sequence, layouts, style and settings. The editor is very flexible, so by playing with custom and general settings, you will be able to create various color variations and much more. And that's it for element groups. Now go and test it out on your own calculator. Good luck!